What is going on the Gold Coast? Stage 4 was just cancelled for a bus because it would ruin the neighbourhood because all these lanes of traffic are so nice to hang around. Well then let's look at what a Brisbane metro-like route would look like here because the road is not dealing with traffic as is. The busway would be wider than a tram. Drivers aren't perfect after all. Hold on, I don't have a metro model. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Look it down, no matter how long the tram is, it fits perfectly around this corner. Not the bus. And it gets worse the longer it is. And where will they be stored? Parked on the road? No, we're getting near depot. Again, the trams are way more compact. Look at this tram depot. It fits 23 trams, equal to almost 50 buses. But this huge metro depot only holds 60? Where are we going to put this in Palm Beach? Time to clear some houses, I guess. Oh wait, what's... You don't want to build any of this? Not even a bus lane. Not even paint. Yeah, I know there's already a bus, but it gets stuck in traffic. That's why no one uses it. Oh, that's what you want? Okay then. So, compared to this tram that holds 309 people, divided by the Queensland average of 1.2 people per car, have fun with an extra 257 cars on your road per missing tram. And 8 trams an hour per direction, so 2,056 cars per hour travelling the same direction as you. This is what exactly 2,056 cars looks like in a 3 lane queue starting at the airport. 6 kilometres of piled up traffic going all the way to Palm Beach. All this could be taken away by just one lane of trams in a single hour. Towers are going up if you like it or not. Eshes are already on the bus, so the tram won't change that. But it could fix this. Less cars, more people spending their money, and making your part of the world slightly nicer to be around. Up to you. Thank you.